Rendering huge scene is always a challenging part of the work. Even if we make a great set design, we don't render it in movie format. Most of the time we are rendering still images of the scene because we are afraid of render time, right? In this video, I will show you how to simply create a large scene and I will explain how I did dual texturing for cloth, cloth simulation, lighting a scene and final rendering. See this set. This warehouse set is huge. Let me tell you about its size. Width 73 feet, depth 132 feet, height 44 feet. Now you already understand it's not a small set. And what about this huge flapping curtains? This curtain size is height 32 feet, width 7 feet. Simulating and rendering such a big curtain requires significant amount of computing power. You may be surprised to know that I rendered this movie in just 1 hour 45 minutes. Yes, you heard it right. Let's see how I set the scene. First, I place the warehouse model in scene. I have downloaded it from Sketchfab. After that, I created a plane for the floor and subdivided with little amount of geometry. For floor texturing, I have used asphalt texture from Polyheaven. I will put links in the description. Then I duplicated the floor plane for the rest of the scene. After that, I created a plane for the side wall and scaled it to fit the warehouse side wall. For side wall texture, I have used Kitbash 3D free textures. Then I just duplicated the side wall for the other side. For this portion, I used steel sheet model from sketchfab.com. Then I added Arri modifier to it. After that, yes, you are right. I duplicated it for the other side of the portion. I modeled the roof very simply with a plane. You can see it here. I added some loop cuts to the plane and I removed few faces for volumetric light. For the roof texture, I used the same texture that I used for the side wall. For vanity and blinds, I made this by stretching a cube and copying the object several times. After that, we must cover the back side of our set. For that, I simply duplicated this steel sheet and covered the back side of the warehouse. So now that we have successfully completed our large set. Now comes the fun part. Making a massive flapping curtain. This flapping curtain FX sells the whole scene. Cloth simulation plays a part of this dynamic moment. Personally, I like simulations. I used simulations in all of my short films because the simulation effects are incredibly entertaining to watch. Likewise, it will make your scene much more effective. Here we can see two types of textures in this curtain. I will show you how I textured this curtain. Using a plane, I created a curtain shape. Then I added a new material on it. And using no Wrangler short key, I applied fabric texture. To correct texture ratio, go to edit mode, then select UV and select smart UV project, then say OK, so that it fixes the ratio issue. For this core texture, we need one image texture node and mix node. We want texture in color, not just black and white. Should disconnect base color and connect to B and image color should be connect to A. Connect final result to base color. Now select image texture node and select file path. Choose your liking car image. To fix texture ratio issue, make smart UV project. We don't want tiles for this car. Now comes the tricky part. If you want to scale the car texture up or down, it scales along with the cloth texture. We don't want that. We want to control our UV maps individually. To do that, select texture node and go to object data properties. Here we have only one UV map. We need to add one more UV map and rename it. One for core and one for cloth. Then we need UV map node for the core texture and connect UV to vector. Here we should select our UV map and then duplicate the UV map node for the cloth texture. We can remove the texture coordinate node here then connect UV map node to vector mapping. Under UV map path select cloth. Now you are able to scale and rotate individual UV map to your preference. Let's do the cloth simulation. For cloth simulation, we need extra geometry. So we should subdivide our curtain model 12 or 15 times if needed more times. Then select top portion of the vertices, come to object data properties, create a group under the vertex group and rename it to your preference and make it assign. Then go back to object mode. Now go to physics properties and select cloth simulation. Under cloth simulation, we have to do two things. Almost all of the default settings works well. Under shape group, we need to select our shape group pin here. 
then enable self collusion now if you play it and see nothing happens because we don't have any force field here so we should add force field under force field select wind set the angle to the preferred direction of the wind then go to physics properties and increase the strength we should also include turbulence then increase the strength and size don't forget to bake simulation now you can make as many duplicate curtains as you like to alter the texture of the car go to the shading editor and select the image texture node then select the car image you want that's it this is how i made these curtains and i downloaded this staircase from sketchweb so next very exciting part of the scene is lighting a scene would be pointless without lighting i will show you how i light up the scene i started lighting my scene using an area light i placed this area light on the roofs outside i changed the color of the light to warm color i increased the power value then i duplicate this light twice then i started lighting up the curtains i chose spotlights for the curtains i chose blue for the lighting color and i increased the power value up to 1000 watt i placed light above the curtain after that i simply duplicate the lights for each curtain for the volumetric light i created a cube and scaled it to cover the entire set then i added principal volume material on it then i set the density value very low here we have volumetric light now i want to add ambient lighting in the dark areas of the set now it's time to import our main character which is a car this car was downloaded from sketchfab.com likewise i used two spotlights for the car our set is now ready for filming i will show you how i rendered my scene i have rendered in ev yes i have rendered in ev if you want to render in cycles you can do so however cycles rendering takes more time i made a tutorial on how to render fast you can watch that video link in the description i will show you step by step how i rendered in ev first go to render properties and select render engine ev sampling 128 if you want to go higher than this you can do then i enabled ambient occlusion i enabled screen space reflections and motion blur cascade size 2048 finally under shadows i enabled high bit depth that's it for the rendering settings next i chose 4k uhd tv as the output resolution that's all for this video if you found it useful smash the like button so that it reaches more people thank you and salam